herd of donkeys turned loose to roam the streets of Cripple Creek today. News 5's John McMichael shows us what it takes to care for the ambassadors of the gold camp. What's today all about? Today is all about the historic annual release of the Cripple Creek donkeys with the Two Mile High Club. For well over a hundred years, you know the history. There have been donkeys in Cripple Creek. They go clear back to when they were used in mines. Until one day, the story goes, Teddy Roosevelt toured those mines, saw the donkeys' plight, and was horrified. He just thought it was inhumane that those donkeys worked underground their entire lives and uh, never saw the light of day. So that, paired with changing mining practices, eventually led to the donkeys being set loose. It is a privilege to come to you here, to your district. And they roamed free for years. Until the Two Mile High Club formed in 1931. It is even a greater privilege to see how you have cared for my donkeys. Bully! From then forward, the club's been keeping up with the donkeys. And that's where we are today. And it's never busier than late May. <laughs> how much work goes into getting these donkeys ready for, for some summer roaming? You know, we're just trying to take off all the excess foot. We're trying to give them a nice foot to travel the roads on. A week before release day, which is what we're looking at here, the Two Mile High Club rounds up the herd. We like to run between 15 and 20. This year it's 15, and they spend a day working on hooves, floating teeth. You know, the vet will be out to give them their vaccinations and their dewormer for the season. Good girl. Okay. Right now we're vaccinating for sleeping sickness, influenza, rhino, West Nile, tetanus, and rabies. It's a good herd and it's well maintained. Well maintained and good natured, but they still take a dozen or so volunteers to wrangle. What's the range of interactions you get from, from the donkeys when you're working on them? You know, every donkey is different on any given day. They're all individuals. They love attention and everything, but you just still don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> So all this happens once in the spring, again to an extent in the fall, with a few donkeys requiring day-to-day -day care. Is it worth it? Exactly worth it. 100% worth it. And between that, shelter and food, it costs about 30000 a year. We have to raise that each and every year. And even once the donkeys are out, they're still getting checked in on, but not only by the club. People are really on the lookout for the donkeys. And if part of the herd gets hurt, there's a donkey infirmary in town, and people love feeding them apples and carrots and bananas, and some even help with hydration. We have certain residents that make sure that they've got water tanks behind the house with water in them. Good girl. One more fun. From the outside looking in, it might seem an odd tradition, but for this town... Cripple Creek donkeys are the ambassadors for the entire gold camp. It's anything but. When people come to town, they don't ask, where are the casinos? They ask, where are the donkeys? It's just a joy and a love that we have, and we love coming out here and taking care of them. In Cripple Creek, John McMichael, News 5.